What is happening? We had two minutes left, Dan. Turn us up a little bit. Wait, ah, you, stop. We got you baited. Damn it. Damn it, Dan. All right, well, after Dan just sat there and just jabated us, <laughs> we got like 30 seconds left. I have no idea what this is going to do. Like, I have no idea what it's going to be at all. I don't think anyone does. Well, I mean, except for people that are involved. But that's not the point. All right, let's see. Uh, they're going to start with a trailer? <laughs> not at all. <laughs> We're going to get jabated again. Here we go. Definitive edition available now. Dude, these are so cool. Is Adam gonna be doing the direct again? I hope so. He was so good. What if it's like Stefan? <laughs> I killed Adam. Hey, I'm Dan Fernacy. And I'm Adam Kara. And, and welcome, welcome to the Rivals of Eat the Direct. For this Rivals Direct, I decided to invite the entire dev team to my house so we can show you guys all the awesome stuff we're working on for Rivals in 2020. Trevor, where is everybody? Just me and George. What? Where's Elian? And Mark? And Alex? And Yellow? And okay, Dan. audience. Dan just hired me to help with the direct, but I'm with you guys, okay? I get it. April Fools. Dan thinks he's a funny guy with his funny bits, but in the end, we know there's going to be a real announcement. Hopefully, not another furry visual novel. Okay, but I'm going to save you all some time. I'm going to cut through all the fake stuff and get to the real thing, whatever that turns out to be. Okay, okay. This is going to be so good, dude. Anyway, Adam and I are going to get set up in our awesome interview room. So we can go check out a behind the scenes look at the new game mode that's coming to Rivals of Ether. Ether Ball? Up next, a world premiere of a totally real new game mode. <laughs> you asked and we listened. We're finally addressing the most requested feature for over four years. It's Rivals of Tether. I knew it. <laughs> Tetherball has always been a passion of mine, and I'm extremely excited to finally share that passion with the world. Let's go, Dan. I Good love George. platform fighters, and when I first joined the team, I was super excited to get to work on my favorite kind of game. And this isn't exactly that, but it's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> I wanted all the poses in Rivals of Tether to be as realistic as possible. And strangely enough, it's hard to find good tetherball players with a strong enough will to do this kind of work. So I decided that since I'm the best in the office, I would do the poses for all the animations myself. Dan is just a man who stays on task. I'll come to Dan and say, hey, our company credit card just got declined. Or, Dan, we just got rejected from Evo again. Or, Dan, one of our coders just quit. You know, typical stuff that happens to our game on a day-to-day -day basis. But Dan will say, hey, we gotta finish that tetherball game mode. Dan is dedicated, has his priorities straight, and really just cultivates a wonderful work environment. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you on the court. And make sure you check out the Rivals of Ether, the Tether Achieve Edition, coming out this summer. Tether Achieve? Ah, yes, that was all very funny. A nice callback to a joke nobody gets. But can we just skip the formalities, Dan? Get to the, you know, real announcement. It is actually real. Daniel. <laughs> Daniel, come on now. Last Rivals Direct, you had your funny skits and your attractive host. It was all really cute. But just save everybody some time and show us the real stuff. <sighs> what was that? What, what are you doing? What was that? Oh, shit. Oh, it's actually a thing. <laughs> All right, that's sick. <laughs> Let's go, Dan. Rivals of Tether Summer 2020. <laughs> Available and definitive. A new way to unlock cool stuff in Rivals of Ether. Oh, sick. The Milestone System. Uh-oh. What is it? 
It's free. It's free. The milestone system. Free skins. Oh, I feel it. Free buddies. Am I hearing free right now? It's free. Adam, don't lie to me, please. Don't lie. I love Dan. Is it free? <laughs> it's a free system. You can call me a freak. How would you describe it in one word, Stefan? Amazing. I said one word. Those other systems can get out of here like, ooh, ooh, look at me, I'm Dan, just fulfilling everybody's wants and needs. Ooh, ooh. Milestone system. What even is it? It's free. But you gotta earn it. If you work for it, it's free. It's free skins. Put it on. Just slap them on there. What are you doing? Just play it. Just put it on. Why aren't you playing it? What do you mean it's not out yet? Wow. The milestone system. <laughs> Adam, 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 you haven't told me. Is it free? It's... I have told you. <laughs> so, Dan, we're all aware that there's going to be a bunch of new features in the definitive edition. Coming to the Nintendo Switch and Steam this summer. <laughs> there's actually something that really really bothers me. What's that, Adam? <laughs> How are people who already bought the game gonna get definitive? Do we have to, like, buy the game twice? Well, I'm glad you asked that question, Adam, because today we would like to announce that everyone who bought the base game of Rivals of Ether on Steam will automatically be upgraded to the definitive edition, and that's regardless of which DLC characters that you already own. Oh, that's... that's actually crazy generous. So, like, everyone's gonna get every character. Yeah, we wanted to keep things simple, and let everyone experience everything that Rivals of Ether has to offer. Okay, but let's go, Dan. What about everyone that bought the DLC already? Well, what do I get? What about the gratification of knowing that you supported the game and you helped us and the community get this far? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I need something material in order to be happy. And that is why we are adding <laughs> infamous skins. What? 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 Okay, that's sick. All right, these are dope. Dude, whoa! A King Knight stage? Or is it just a stage skin? Infamous skins will be rewarded to those who purchase the DLC characters before the Definitive Edition arrives on Steam this summer. No one will be able to obtain them after it launches. You'll be the coolest Claren on the block. Or Eliana. Don't listen to your friends. She's cool. I swear. So what if you really like the infamous skins, but you don't actually own Rivals yet? So you'll want to purchase the game on Steam right now, because once the Definitive Edition launches, your chance to obtain them will be gone. Hey Dan, can I have like $35? Of course you can, Trevor. You gotta get those infamous skins before your time runs out. Oh, no, I just need to go get lunch. Are you serious? We're like, doing a thing here. You no, know, we're like live, right now. <laughs> <laughs> A look at some of the awesome new merchandise from the world of Ether. Oh shit. Hello, I'm Stefan. And I'm not Dan. And we're here to talk to you about the new Rivals of Ether merchandise. Yep. Let's go, Stefan. Instead of coding or playtesting in the net code or getting lunch, they have me doing this. That's right, Trevor. And our first item today is this Shovel Knight plushie. Look at that thing. So cute. A very successful game, and I'm very proud of you guys for making it. That was Yacht Club Games, actually. <laughs> oh, you can still get this for twenty nine ninety nine before it went. Well, these are sold out. Too bad I actually like this one. But we do have plenty of your maples, just plenty of them. And this is a new character, I'm told. No, she was one of the first. <laughs> and now on to Silvanos. This grasshopper is one of my favorites. Take a look at that stitching. Look at that amazing craftsmanship. Trevor, look at this. Look at that stitching. Take a whiff, too. Doesn't it just smell like the ether? I love Stefan so much. They come scented. Come scented. <laughs> they come scented. They, okay, they're not scented, but <laughs> smells like something. And also, <laughs> this is not the whole set, everybody. There's new plushies. Claren and Eliana. Exclusively at symbiotestudios.com. And up next is something that is very special, something very cool. It is Switch Pro Controllers by JMB. Trevor, where are those controllers? <laughs> no? We don't have them. Okay. What do we have? Just the plushie? That's it? <laughs> oh. Wow. 
Don't these look great? Those are. I cannot wait to play with this. Those are sick. It feels so lightweight, so professional. <laughs> I cannot wait to play Rivals of Ether on my Switch with this. <laughs> what is the release date for Rivals of Ether on Switch? Oh, we have a caller. Our first caller. Uh, hello. Yes, hello, Dan. Hey, Trevor. I really need someone to talk to right now. Can you keep a secret? Uh, you're, you're live, actually. Yeah, right now. so I think it was a mistake hiring Adam again to host the Direct. We just had lunch, and he's so mean to me. It's hard to put yourself out there, you know? And, like, I'm just trying to make Rivals a fun game for everyone. And he's just so critical of everything I do. He keeps making fun of story mode, and he complains constantly about my favorite character, Raster, and he keeps insisting that Stefan is too much of a weirdo to do the merch at. I really like Stefan, but I think we'll just give Adam what he wants, because he's such a drama queen. It feels really good to get this stuff off my chest. You're always so understanding, Trevor. I know I can always count on you. It's just... Uh, Dan? Anyways, keep up the good work, Trap Trap. Oh, and also, I need you to add some more tetherball stuff. I got a bunch of new poses for you to put in. Alright, you the best, man. Thanks. Hey, Svon, uh, we're gonna reschedule that merch ad, so don't go live yet. Oh, by the way, I just had lunch with Dan, and it went great. I think he really likes my ideas for story mode. And he seems to really understand why all of my balance changes would make the game basically perfect. Dan and I just, like, bonded, you know? I think this Direct is going to go smooth as silk. Oh, by the way, um, for some reason Dan didn't want you to do the merch ad. I think it's because he's got something against you. But hey, don't worry. You're my boy. I'm going to fight for you. Anyway, I'll be there in a sec. You the best man. <laughs> Explanation on exactly how you unlock all the new cosmetics. The milestone. Let's system. try that milestone system new again. Explanation. Oh god. The milestone system is a brand new system coming exclusively to the definitive edition. Isn't that right, Stefan? I don't think I've ever seen a system any better. It's probably the greatest system of all time. I think that this is a step forward in not only games, game development, but also mankind. What techniques does the milestone system implement in order to make your life a better life? Everybody had complaints. Those complaints have been addressed, the fans have been listened to, things have been improved. My hands have never felt better. In what ways would you say the milestone system has changed your life? I was in a dark place, very dark place, Adam. You know this, you know this better than me. Oh yeah, you're always going off about how you're extremely jealous of those around you, getting lots of crazy gigs and deals, being seen by thousands of people. You wish you were in the limelight, but luckily with the milestone system. Then, then I see worth in myself. I see worth in my path forward. I see a place for me in the broader world. It doesn't matter how you feel about your life, whether you feel worthless, especially people like you, you know, who <laughs> haven't accomplished much. But with the milestone system, you can feel like someone standing next to you who has many accomplishments, even if you yourself don't have those accomplishments, because through the milestone system, it's like you're doing those things. The font's gonna lose it's, it. It's close. It's very close to feeling that way. Yeah, but it's yeah. not that way. No. <laughs> Next, the world premiere for Creatures of Ether. Creatures of Ether. Welcome back to the Rivals Direct. I'm Adam Kerr, and we're here with Dan Fernacy talking about all the new features coming to the Rivals of Ether Definitive Edition. But I believe we have a special guest with us to talk about a new addition to the Rivals of Ether universe. It's everyone's favorite community manager, George Rogers. Let's go, George. Oh, wait, where's George? Oh, no. He's gone. That's your cue. We're live right now. Get over it. I changed my mind. Get Trevor to do it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You've done tournament commentary like a hundred times. Yeah, but nobody watches those. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. It's fine. like, yeah, true. Rogers, everybody. <laughs> what the hell is this? 
Wait, creatures of ether. Oh wait, never mind. Okay, this isn't what I thought it was gonna be. I wonder if they're gonna like do the item thing. Like, here's some items. Wait, what the fuck? What the hell? Oh my god. This makes sense. Because, like, at the Tux House, they all love card games. Okay, this has got to be a thing, right? Use rival cards for powerful abilities. Burn everything in sight and kill everything. iOS and Android. Dude, that's actually insane. Was that a card game? <laughs> I get it, I get it. <laughs> Creatures of Ether, that's a good one. <laughs> so we can get the real review now, Dan? It is real. Yeah, what do we got? Like a Brawlhalla cameo again or something? <laughs> I love Dan. Creaturesofether.com for iOS and Android. You can sign up for the closed beta right now. Oh my god. This is actually awesome. So like, you can get me in the beta then, right? Because like, I could do a video in it. My channel's pretty popular, you know. <laughs> Maybe just sign up on the website. Okay, yeah, but um, you'll make sure you'll like see it and make sure I get in right. <laughs> right? He's like, it is real. <laughs> Try to explain to you the milestone system one last time. The milestone system. Key feet. You have to work for it. There is no reason to live unless you're working towards something, and working towards freedom is the ultimate goal. I assure you. It's free. The milestone system has changed my life. Skins. Skins. It's a great system. It makes you feel like you're progressing. Stage skins. Buddies, free. Progressing's not even a word. I made it up because I'm so free. Just that the sweat of your body translates into free work. We just want to ship it out, give it to you, let you just get your hands on the freedom. I have not had a night of sleep. It's just, it's so free, and it just angers me that there are going to be people who aren't participating <laughs> in this freedom. Adam, Stefan, I love you guys so much. Will you let the milestone system into your heart? You know, just sometimes I think about my dark place and I just want to just... <laughs> 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 Goodbye to dark places. Milestone. I'm living reality. I'm living. The milestone system has helped me as well. I'm great. Adam, I don't want to go back to the dark place, please. I don't want to go. Don't put me back. The milestone system is so good. Where are you going to put it? Over here. <laughs> it's getting on me. It's catching up. Dark place. No, 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 no. What the fuck is happening? Adam's a skin? It's a skin for Stefan. Stefan's in the game. Get out of your dark places. I don't want you. Ugh. In abyss mode. Congratulations. You now understand the milestone system. Please print out your certificate now. Daniel Fernaniel. And now, some final words from the rivals of E13. Oh, Alrighty, thank you for tuning in to this very special Rivals Direct. I wish we could have gotten something real for you, but it looks like that's all the time we have for now. But wait, there's one more thing. Look at how far we've come, guys. This is actually sick. Hell yeah. Eliana had the hypest trailer. Lovers of Ether. <laughs> Sick. Workshop. Malo.
2021, we get comics? 2022, what is this? <laughs> what the hell? 2023, we get 3D. Oh my god, that looks insane. Oh my god. Rivals 2, 2D Wait, fighting game. Was that a 3D model? Well, that's all the time we have. Thanks, everyone. What? Are you, what? what are you doing? You just, you're just gonna go now? Right after we finally got something? What about the Switch release date? Wasn't that like the whole point? Where are you even going? This is your house! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Oh, they're all real. Wow. Tetherball would be fully playable in Definitive Edition. Players already own DLC skins. Yes. Let's go Infamous skins. Creatures of Ether is coming to close beta soon. CreaturesofEther.com. Damn, dude. Those controllers look sick. Yo, the stage? Absa's stage looks ridiculous. Stay tuned for the live gameplay with the developers, feature modes, and games from the Direct. We got double jibated. <laughs> Wow, so like, everything being real is kind of awesome. Every year we just get bigger and better. Like, obviously this is like the Fin of Edition, so it's like, it's the last hurrah for anything being added at all. But, Creatures of Ether looks like a dope-ass card game. Tetherball is going to be sick. We now have the plushies, I think, for every character, I think. I'm not sure. And, uh... Yeah, dude, it's all, it's so sick. Also, dude, we broke 8k viewers for this, which is pretty friggin' huge. Like, just for a standalone, like, Rivals stream direct thing, you know. Like, we usually hit, like, if we hit, like, five, 600, we're just like, yo. Mango in jail tech Twitter. <laughs> that meme, still around. <laughs> All the acting and the camera work was just so freaking good, dude. Like Adam, Stefan, Dan, like, George, it, it, dude, everybody. Trevor, let's all fucking go. It was so good. Like, it, it had, like, that, that, like, that Adam Kara spin on it, you know what I mean? Alright, they're gonna show a bunch of stuff, maybe, hopefully. <laughs> a lot. Hopefully we get a date. If we don't, then, uh, whoops. I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility considering that, like, uh, you know, Dan's like, we're late. It's not summer. It's winter. My bad. <laughs> and we're like, damn it, Dan, dude. Come on. What? The remainder of the video is just Dan talking about some of the features they are going to show off. If you'd like what? to see a highlight of that, let me know by commenting down below and hitting that like button Rivals and the subscribe direct. button. And I'll try and get that highlight Rivals video up to y'all oh, as quickly as possible as long as you let me know. Other than that, the Direct was really reveals. sick. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, sick! Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Trevor. Have a good day, everyone. We'll George joining us in a little bit. Alright, let's do some questions first before we play some tetherball. Or do we want to just get right. right into it? It went really well. Oh dang, dude, so many people left. There's <laughs> just like no more Rivals uh, Direct, whatever, we're gone. I want me to look, show them, should I show them the milestones? Everyone's in chat saying milestones. Dude, show milestones. Date and milestones. milestones. We got the new uh, menu that we're working on too, I guess I can show that off. Oh yeah. That looks sick. So, um, this is how we'll be looking on the Switch. Since there's no uh, 
uh, news that will be there. All right, so as you saw in the direct, when uh, Adam was explaining the milestone system so well, that's why we hired him. Only took three tries. I think they really explained pretty much everything by the end. Um, it's free. But I love how it's free, and then only the first one do they say it. He's like, it's free, but you got to earn it. Uh, because you do have to earn it. So milestones, the main reason we added them is because... Um, so like Nintendo Switch doesn't have achievements. So we wanted like something like achievements that we can also add to Steam. Because Steam already has it. So we wanted it to be like in addition. So it's not replacing achievement. It's kind of like... Yes, they did. It went really good. It'll be in addition. The, the uh, first part. Also, George, if you want...